You don't frighten me, Loeb. As long as I do my own thinking, I have nothing to fear. All right, Gen Xers and elder millennials will remember Slim Goodbody. That's the organ suit wearing daytime TV alter ego of John Burstein, who now lives in Lincolnville. Goodbody eventually had his own PBS series, but he got a start on the decades long kids' variety show, Captain Kangaroo. We bring it up because today is National Kangaroo Awareness Day. It's a bit of a stretch, but Maine doesn't really have many kangaroos in it. Yeah, so in all of our archives, the only story we can find about a kangaroo in Maine is this one from 1996. Norman Waycott had a menagerie of exotic animals at his home in Saco. Kangaroos, as you can see, the animals are exceedingly rare here in Maine, but some parents will recognize the word for the first days with their babies. Tim Goff shows us the practice of skin-to-skin -skin contact called kangarooing. Pregnancy was completely a surprise. But the surprises didn't end there for Heather O'Meara. The way he came was a surprise very early. 13 weeks early, but who's counting? Little Angus was just 2 pounds, 15 ounces when he was born. Tiny. And he spent the past month here in the neonatal intensive care unit, or NICU, at Maine Medical Center, building up his strength in preparation of his first journey home. Technology, I've never seen this technology before, but it's, it's great. It's doing wonders. But it's not just technology that's helping Gus gain weight, but the simple act of kangarooing, or holding him skin to skin, that's aiding him in his transition from womb to world. I think it's beneficial for both. It's, so I get a lot out of it, and I get super excited when they say, yes, Angus can be held today. Doctors in the NICU agree. Both babies and moms are calmer after delivery when the baby's um, right on the mom's chest. Studies have shown that kangarooing also helps stabilize a baby's blood pressure, body temperature, blood glucose, and heart rate. It's also good for the mom. It helps the mom transition the, um, all the hormonal changes in pregnancy that get the mom ready just to both for recovery and also for um, breastfeeding and um, helps the breast milk production. Dads are encouraged to get in on the act too. Both moms and dads have um, bacteria on their skin that are healthy for the baby so rather than having the hospital um, germs to have the, the you know bacteria that are on the mom's and dad's skin is, um, is good for the baby also. As a NICU parent myself of a five-week premature baby, my wife and I were encouraged to hold our daughter Amelia early and often, not just for the medical benefits, but to bond as well. I think there's a, a bonding there that has was established through kangaroo. Heather says she held all three of her other children skin to skin when they were infants and believes it's still paying off years later. All my kids still are lap kids. They really like to be close. So each day when Heather holds her child, she knows she's laying a foundation of love that will last a lifetime. Hopefully he lives up to his name, Angus. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tim Goff reporting in 2014. Maine Medical Center is working to create more awareness and acceptance of kangarooing, not only to promote closer contact with kids, but also as a way to encourage mothers to breastfeed their children because of the benefits it provides as well.